In the meantime, we'll go on with the news. And the 60 days countdown for the National Dialogue Committee team to deliver on its mandate began today after officially signing the harmonized framework agreement that established the committee and outlines the terms of engagement. The team has already given the list of issues to be discussed to five, with the team leaders exuding confidence that they would solve the outstanding issues that pushed the opposition to the streets. As a very own Chim Taigoin reports, the IEBC selection panel, which was already in the process of reconstituting the polls body, IEBC, may be forced to halt its activities as the matter is on the list of the agenda that will be deliberated by the Dala Committee. Take a listen. In what was termed as the beginning of a new era of constructive political negotiations, the delegation leaders of the National Dialogue Committee, in the glare of the camera, put pen to paper, giving a stamp of approval to the framework agreement that lays the basis of the talks that is geared towards resolving political issues affecting the country. We have also agreed on the statement of issues that we shall be deliberating on as a dialogue committee or as a National Dialogue Committee. We have also resolved that we shall be extending invitations to stakeholders and members of the public to present their memorandums to the committee. Indeed, I've made tremendous progress. Wenga ndio alisema ukiona vyaelea, ujue vimeundo. So a lot of work has been done. Ndio sasa vitu vimeanza kuelea. We want to encourage Kenyans to continue to have faith in, in this team. The leaders confident that the issues on the table would be resolved, downplaying opposition from some quarters who have rubbished the talks. And we continue to tell Kenyans to ignore the naysayers. There will always be those who do not who feel threatened for whatever reason by something so illustrious because this is wonderful work and we, we, we're going to move very, very fast. Our 60 days begin ticking from yesterday, and that is why we reaffirm our commitment to complete this process within the set timelines. Among the documents signed was the statement detailing issues to be discussed. Out of the 10 issues that were on the table, the technical team has narrowed them down to five. We have adjourned to Friday this week at 10 a.m. to allow the secretariat and the technical teams to work on prioritization of the issues and guide us on how we prioritize what issues do we begin with. One of the issues being the restructuring and reconstitution of the polls body IEBC. The committee appearing to temporarily discontinue the work of the IEBC selection panel, which was already in the process of shortlisting those that had shown interest in the available positions. On the question of whether we are able to stop the selection panel, we are not writing to them to uh, stop doing their work. It's just to take uh, what has been described by the Honorable Eugene Omaro in our meeting as judicial notice of the ongoings of this national dialogue team. And therefore, even as they progress their work, then they take note that it's part of the issues that uh, we are engaging on. You never know. You could end up with a reconstitution of the panel itself. You never know. Everything is on the table. The issues on the table include outstanding constitutional matters, which addresses the opposition's pet subject, the high cost of living, two-thirds gender rule dilemma, the issue of inclusivity in public appointments, and also how checks and balances can be effected. On matters electoral justice, the committee will be addressing the controversial reconstitution of the IEBC, the boundaries delimitation process, and the touchy subject of an audit of the 2022 presidential election. Also on the list is the entrenching of the National Government Constituency Development Fund, the National Government Affirmative Action Fund, and the Senate Oversight Fund in the law. Kenya Kwanzaa will also be pushing for the establishment and entrenchment of the Office of the Leader of Official Opposition and the Office of the Prime Cabinet Secretary in law. Further, Azimio will also advance its bid to entrench political discipline through prevention of encroachment on other political parties. 
The talks have a 60-day time frame but can be extended if there are pending issues. Resolutions reach through consensus and which result in policy changes will be affected by the state in line with the provisions of the law. With the National Dialogue Committee having harmonized the issues on the negotiating table to five, with the inclusion of members of the public and also experts, it is likely that the scope of the committee will expand to accommodate the divergent views, noting that already members of the civil society and also some members of the public had already come here to Bombers of Kenya requesting to be included in the talks. Chemutai Goin, Citizen TV, at the Bombers of Kenya. All right, Goin, thanks so much for that.